This tutorial looks at the effect of changing the temperature on the rate of a chemical reaction and explains why the reaction rate increases when the temperature rises because of uh, an increase in collision frequency. This is the part of the OCR Gateway B uh, specification that I'm intending to cover on this tutorial. Essentially that which is in white is at foundation and higher level and that which is in purple is the harder stuff which is at higher level only. If you were looking to investigate the rate of reaction and the effect the temperature has on this, you'd use a setup a little like this. Uh, in here we have a solid marble chips which are reacting with an acid, probably hydrochloric acid, and when they react they make carbon dioxide gas which flows out of the tube and along the delivery tube and into the gas syringe here where it collects. And if you were to follow the rate of reaction you could take the volume of gas that's been collected every 10 seconds or so and then alter the reaction conditions by changing the temperature of the acid uh, going up by say 10 degrees each time to see what the effect is on the rate of reaction. You collect your results in a table little like this, maybe at 20 degrees, we'd start off at zero uh, on the syringe and then maybe after 10 seconds we'd get 10 cubic centimetres, then 19, then 27, then 35, then 40 and it would continue until perhaps after 80 seconds the reaction was finished and we would got 50 cubic centimetres of gas produced. Whereas at 30 degrees we might expect the results to be uh, a faster reaction. So maybe we get 20 and then 39 and then uh, 46 and then 48 and 50. So we might expect the uh, reaction to finish quicker because it's at a higher temperature. In exam questions you'll commonly see a graph with these kind of axes with time along the bottom and the volume of carbon dioxide up the side. And then you'd plot your points for the first experiment, which would go, I suppose, something like this. And then, of course, you would label that at 20 degrees C. When you came to plot your results for 30 degrees C, you'd see a similar graph, but it would be steeper. The reaction would finish quicker, but it would make the same volume of gas overall and at 40 degrees C it would be steeper still. So the steepness of the graph tells us that the reaction is getting faster, the reaction gets faster as you raise the temperature. But why is that? To understand the effect of temperature on the rate of reaction we have to use something called the reacting particle model or sometimes called the collision theory to explain what's happening in a chemical reaction. Scientists believe that chemical reactions occur because of collisions between particles of the reactants. If these collisions have got enough energy, then they've got sufficient energy to react. Um, glancing blows between the particles might not lead to a reaction between the particles, so these collisions have to be successful. And the minimum energy that these particles have to actually react together is called the activation energy, as written here. Now, if they collide with more than the activation energy, then the reaction will be a successful uh, collision and uh, it'll lead to the reactants um, forming products. But uh, if it's less than the activation energy, then it'll be an unsuccessful collision. Now, the rate of reaction depends on the number of successful collisions between the particles and more than that, the number per second or the frequency of the collisions. Particles move because they have a certain amount of kinetic energy and the kinetic energy they have depends upon the outside temperature. So if you raise the temperature, you increase the energy of the particles and that makes them move faster. Now, if the particles are moving faster, then the rate of reaction increases for two reasons. First of all, because the collisions will be more frequent. In other words, there'll be more collisions per unit time or per second. And secondly, the collisions that occur will have more energy. And if they've got more energy, that means that more of them are likely to be successful collisions and lead to a chemical reaction taking place. And both of these reasons mean that the reaction rate increases as the temperature increases. That's shown on this diagram. You can see on the left here, we've got the solid particles represented by the black um, particles, which are all in regular positions. And the particles of the acid, for example, those in solution, which are shown as the red particles. 
and the red particles are shown as moving around because they've got a certain amount of kinetic energy. But they're at a low temperature, so they're only moving slowly, which means that there are infrequent collisions, and those collisions uh, will have little amount of energy. However, at a higher temperature, the particles, same number of particles in each case, of course, but the particles will have more energy. They're moving faster. And that means that the collisions will both be more frequent and have more energy and are more likely to be successful. With more successful collisions per second, there's a faster rate of reaction. Here's a past paper question to finish off then. Louise and Anne investigate the reaction between magnesium and hydrochloric acid. Look at the diagram, it shows the apparatus they use. Well, they've got some magnesium, 0.2 grams of magnesium, and they've got some hydrochloric acid, 25 cubic centimetres of hydrochloric acid in the flask. They'd be reacting and making hydrogen gas, which would pass along the delivery tube and be collected in the gas syringe. We're told that the temperature of the acid is 25 degrees Celsius. Now look at the graph, it shows their results, and Louise and Anne do the experiment again, keeping everything the same except the temperature, and this time they use a higher temperature. On the grid, draw the graph that they should get. Well, it's important to understand in these questions that there are two marks. One for showing that the graph has got a steeper gradient. It's got a steeper gradient because the reaction is going faster initially. And secondly, it must also level off at exactly the same height as the original reaction. Because we're using the same amount of the reactants, we're going to get the same amount of product, in other words, the same volume of the gas given off at the end of the reaction. And a written question for two marks. Describe and explain what happens to the rate of reaction as the temperature increases and use ideas about collisions between particles. Here we'd say that the reaction rate increases because the collisions will be more frequent and more energetic. So here we're using this collision theory or the reacting particle model to explain why the rate of reaction is quicker as the temperature increases.